Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome. I am on my way to, shoot, what is it called? Uh, Planet Arizona, which is a ghost town. Uh, I'm probably maybe like an hour, hour and a half away from the start of the trailhead. So we got a little ways to go. So yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm out here just to uh, enjoy my day, my time out here, um, check out another ghost town and see what happens. But for right now, let's, I guess, enjoy the drive. The sun is fully out, so let's just get there. All right, I'll see you when I'm airing down. Alright guys, I made it to where the pavement ends. I am going to air down my tires and get on this journey. Okay, for some reason my audio didn't record while I was airing down my tires. So here I am airing down my tires. This is tire one, tire two, tire three, tire four. And now here's me talking about how I air down my tires. I'm at the trailhead, probably some other BS and then we go on our journey.
So I made it to Planet Ranch, I guess, in conservation area. I thought it was just a, a ghost town, but rock on. Uh, they do have some stuff here. So they have a map to show you exactly where we're at. I didn't realize how close we are to uh, the Hoover Dam, which is right here. And then down this river, that's where we are. We're right here. California's here. So Arizona, California, Nevada. Pretty cool. They apparently have a another uh, close-up map here that lets you know we're right here. And then we're just gonna wander and check out all this area. So this is in the red, it's the Plant Ranch Conservation Area. I was reading, you're allowed in this area from dawn to dusk. They also have uh, native fish ponds, which is right here, which we're gonna pass and obviously check out. And then in it, they have those fish. So um, th this is the obviously the road that leads to um, all that stuff. But in pulling in, I saw that there's a structure up here. And I was like, well, you know what? Let me... I thought about driving up there. Then I was like, no, nah, you know what? Let me just go right here because I saw the, the signage. And then I'll go check out the building. So I saw this building as soon as I uh, pulled through the road. You can see uh, the entrance is right over there, so we're not that far away. But I wanted to check this out. This is cool, man. Cool. It's, I'm just curious. If anyone was wondering, the fireplace is fully clean. I did see coming up here on this side that there are, there's actually a fire ring, like right over there. Oh my God, that's another structure over there too. I didn't realize that. You know what? I'm gonna wander over there and see. Let's check this out. I wonder what they use this for because you can tell like wall 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 maybe the door was right here maybe it was a root cellar a little too high up though but that did not caught, catch my eye what caught my eye was actually this fire ring right here oh this looks demolished and old But anyways, what really caught my eye as a structure is this sucker right here. It's like mud brick structure. Oh man, someone drove through it. How dare they? Cool. So I imagine this might have been someone's house. Maybe. Who knows, Who knows what this could have been, what it was. I'm going with house. What do you guys think? All right, guys, I'm gonna get to the car and let's just start exploring. So I just pulled up, uh, you know, I drove up a little bit and now I'm at, I don't know where, this opening and they have a bunch of modern buildings. I imagine that's for the Forest Service, Conservation, Wilderness, all those peeps. All right, so I know what I'm gonna do. I am just gonna finish this road until like my map, cause my map is up and it shows the like border of, I guess the Planet Conservatory Ranch. And I'm just gonna go to the end, see if I can find anything, if there's anything to find. And then I'll just start backtracking and checking stuff out. 
All right, guys, so I made it to the end of the road where the Planet Conservatory Wilderness boundary ends and the Bureau of Land Management begins. Um, dang, man, it's freaking beautiful. I went up an elevation, but I want to do a 360 view to show you guys, and then we'll head on back down there that way. All right, let's head on back down and I guess find somewhere to park the car and start exploring. Check it out guys, I'm just driving around and that is my first, oh my God, is that a donkey or a horse? Doesn't that look like a donkey? Anybody knows, let me know. Just chilling, drinking water. All right, go do your thing. I'm gonna go do my thing. Got my shoes on, got my stuff situated. So you can see, I got my map right here. We are right here. I'm headed to kind of this area right here. I'm, oh, oh my God. I'm curious what it looks like. When you like Google map it, you can see that they were growing stuff. But when you look at like recent photos, it's all dead. I want to go look at it. All right, so I am at like the edge of where I guess the farming would start. Wow, it really opens up when you come out here. Take a look, guys. Cool. I'm walking in like freaking sand right now. So I'm just gonna kinda, let's see. So yeah, I'm just gonna head straight the, that way towards you guys. And I should run into what I'm calling the farmland. And we'll see if it's still alive, if they're still growing or what's happening. I will say, um, so this past month in uh, Arizona, it's been raining out the, for the entire state, like every week. You know, every couple days it'll rain somewhere. And so there's a lot of green everywhere, which is quite nice, but it might be a little deceiving because I'm looking out there where the green patches are growing or should be growing and I do see green. But part of me is like, is that green because it's just been raining so much and all the plants have been able to like thrive? Or is it, are they still growing stuff? Find out soon enough. All right, guys, I made it to the edge. Take a look, see. All 
right now I am headed, I, I see a sign out there. So I wanna go to it, see what it says. All right guys, I don't know what possessed me to think this would be a sign with some information on it. But here are the fields. Okay. <clears throat> I am going to head back to the car and eat. And then we will figure out where to go from there. So instead of busting out my chair, I figured I'd just relax in the truck bed since there's nothing in here. So I did meal prepping uh, at home this week. So for lunch, I have, let me grab the, hold on, let me show you guys. So for lunch, I have salmon and sweet potatoes and veggies. Fun fact, the carrots are from the garden, from my garden that I grew. I grew these carrots from seed. All right, I'm gonna eat. All right, guys, <clears throat> my food was delicious. Ate it all. Now I'm gonna go explore a little more. I decided what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go check out the pond. And then there is one structure that I did see off to the side of the road that I'm gonna go check out. So pretty cool. Cool. I wonder what this building used to be. So this building, I don't know if you can tell, but it's next to the newer structure, structures for, uh, what is it, uh, fishing game, I think, is in charge of this land. So let's head to the pond. All right, guys, I made it to the pond, but it's all gated off. And it says U.S. government property. No trespassing. So, can't get in there. But you can go ahead and take a look. There is no water whatsoever. So... Whatever used to go on over here doesn't happen anymore. All right, I'm just, I was just going down the, <coughs> the road and saw it opened up and figured this might be a better view of the pond, which it is. So this is uh, their pond. I can see a little water in that corner of the pond, but that's about it. Oh, snap. Take a peek, guys. So we're gonna be smart. Come on this side. Oh, it's just a... I don't think it goes down. 
Yeah, I can tell that there are uh, tunnels down there. There's another one over here. Looks like this one has uh, three tunnels. So there's one obviously right there. So it looks like there's three tunnels on this side. There's one leading that way. There's one leading that way. And then there's one that I showed you guys that's leading down this way. Get to this hole on the top. So big old hole, this is the hole on the very top. When we go down, uh, I'll show you because I can see light coming out from right over there. So there's an opening over on that side. But I'm at the very top of uh, this. Oh yeah, you can see everything from up here. All right, I'm gonna come to the edge so we can, so I can show you guys a bird's eye view of everything. Because unfortunately I don't have a drone, so luckily we're up here and I can just show you. All right, let me set up uh, the tripod. So real quick, I just want to show you, this is the uh, other side of the, the very top hole, the big hole. You, I can see it does go down that way. All right, let's head back to the truck, which isn't that far. It's right there. Ugh. What a good day. All right, I am at the end of my trip, guys. I'm gonna start uh, heading back home. I am gonna be getting out of here. I just wanna say, I appreciate you guys. Remember, it's only impossible until it no longer is. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Check it out guys, I'm just driving around and that is my first, oh my god, is that a donkey or a horse? Doesn't that look like a donkey? If anybody knows, let me know. Just chilling, drinking water. Alright, go do your thing, I'm gonna go do my thing.